Man, all right, look. This kid broke the city, man. Oh. You got me. Yo, 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 you all the stars. Oh, shit. It ain't no way, bruh. It ain't no way that he could have prepared for this. It's no way Kai knew this was going to happen, bro. He broke the city. He found out how famous he really is all in one wop. You know what I'm saying? Like, the way that the... The way that his community turned up was was easy. It was easy. He was going to get his people out there. Boom. But the rest of the people that showed up, the let's call them the, the extra people, the thugs and the goons with the tomfoolery that showed up to, to catch a lick on a humble, that's the part that messed up this whole situation. That got the whole situation twisted up. And... I'm sure that nobody in the community was ready for that. Nobody, you know, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure nobody that helped him set this up or put this together or anybody on his team had the thoughts that the thugs was going to come turn up. And that's the misfortunate part. That's so unfortunate for bro right there. Um, all the way around the board, can we call this a WRL? That's the part that we got to maul out. Like, is this a W? I'm pretty sure for his lore, it's a W. I mean, everything else aside, for for his lore, it's for sure a W. If we talking for the consequences and what's going to come of this and the legalities, big L. This has got to be an L. It's an LL Cool J. I mean, if you could say LL's name in that manner, that's an LL. Big L. Top tier L. But for what comes of it and what he can build out of it and the learning out of the situation what he learned from the situation I call it a W I call it a W learning situation he just figured out how he just figured out how famous he really is bruh and for the most part bro is gonna have to learn how to how to manage this business a little better you know he's a bigger brand than he thought and hey we gotta live with that Let's say this, out of all of the thuggery that went on and the tomfoolery, people got hurt and we can't take that back. We can't undo that. But what we can do is learn from the situation and grow from the situation as a brand. And that's what I'm, I'm hoping Kai can take from this and the AMP squad can take from this is that they got to learn way better business on this schedule. Like rent out a venue, get your permits, you're a bigger brand than you thought. You're a bigger brand than you thought you were. There's no way for you to just impromptu put something together and think that you're going to be safe and that your fans are going to be safe. This is the biggest L that came out of the situation is that your true fans were put in harm's way. And you didn't know that that was going to happen because this is your first time putting something like this together. You said it on stream yesterday. You said, hey, this is my first meet and greet. It's going to be big. We're trying to get this going. And what happened is very unfortunate. You know, we can't change what happened, but we can build from it. We got to build off of this L, turn it into a W, take them W, separate them, make them two victories. You know, one L, two victories. That's what we call it. You know what I mean? All day. But look, we not going to take away from bro turn the city up he turned it into gotham city for a little second you know what i'm saying he he got he got things popping you know what i mean i don't think he knew he was gonna get these things popping but he got these things popping it went up today bro and i'm i'm praying for whoever got hurt out there and hopefully you wasn't out there causing no trouble being a knucklehead i do not promote that at all all y'all dudes little dudes out there and y'all little ladies do not be out in these streets turning up like that it ain't worth it Folks got to pillaging. Folks got to robbing and stealing and pillaging and fighting. And it ain't no way to, I mean, anything, anything that you do, it's going to be the riffraff. They're going to be there. The jerks are going to show up. You know what I mean? The thieves and the thugs are going to be involved some kind of way if they want to be. But that's why you take your precautions. If you setting up some shit like this and you got that kind of lure about yourself, if you stream into 80,000 people a night, bro, on any given night, you averaging 80,000 viewers at your peak. You got to know that too many people going to show up to keep it comfortable. 
think about these things. You got to think these things through. You can't just jump up on an impulse unless you tried to break the city. That's what they, that's what they're going to try to prove. They're going to try to prove that you tried to break the city, guy. They want to prove that you wanted to make breaking news. You and Phantom wanted to jump out there and break the city and you did it. That's what they want to say about you. Now, you're going to have to prove it to them. And I don't know how you're going to do that. But moving forward, that's the only way to do it is to prove, hey, we just some influencers, some kids out here that's just having fun and and living our dream. You know what I mean? And why this is so close to me is because being a big part of 2K, NBA 2K, y'all come from it in a certain way. I mean, I know Phantom comes from the community, definitely. Agent comes from the community, definitely. This is how this is how AMP really got its big break. You know, a lot of influencers came off the back of 2K, and whether they acknowledge it or not, or whether the status with 2K is good or not, or how they feel about the game, they graduated from that and made bigger brands out of themselves. And I'm just all about managing the brand. You know what I mean? I want to see I want to see creators succeed and what we need to learn from this situation right here and how this broke out is that once you hit a certain level you got to start moving different when you go back home you liable to break the city you know what i mean you might shake things up and if you're big enough if you're streaming to eighty thousand people definitely you're gonna break something you're gonna break the city you're gonna break number you then broke the internet already several times bust down roly avalanche you got to you got to move different. You got to get your team behind you. You got to get a legal team behind you and make sure that you got permits. Make sure that you got your bases covered so that you can't get sued by somebody's family that it may be if somebody loses a family member and now their family want to sue you and your brand. And now you taking a big hit. You got to start thinking Drake level, Jay-Z level, J. Cole level, big time entertainer level business you are a big time entertainer and you cannot afford to take any of these l's now, all right look your boy agent you know agent is from canadia they do things different in canadia what if they want to snatch him and take him back to canadia now they might try to get agent up out of here what is that gonna do for the brand we gonna have to move the whole brand to Canada. What? We gonna alienate agent? We can't do that. I'm agent gang. First and foremost, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw him getting detained was, well, damn, wait a minute. With different laws for us because as as agency, the agency, the agency can get deported if the agency causes trouble. The agency's not trying to cause no trouble. We're not trying to get in no trouble. We just out here making money, getting it getting it entertaining so i mean at the at the end of the day things happened we shook the city today amp shook the city and it was no way to manifest this it was we didn't we didn't write the scripts the right way we should have wrote the script better we should have taken better precautions and we're going to have to move under those guys moving forward so the next time we have an event we're going to make sure that we can do it correctly we gotta make sure that we touch all our bases and cover our bases so that we don't hit this type of home run. This was a home run in my eyes. You hit the ball out the park, did exactly what you wanted to do, but we did a little bit more than we needed to do because we made it easy for the thugs and the villains to come out in Gotham tonight. You know, and they're not done turning up. The city is still shaking. And the city will shake behind this for maybe days, weeks, who knows? And the PD is going to have to cover the bases on that. They're left with the tab to clean up and to make sure that all the riffraff that happened gets figured out or whatever they have to do behind that. That's the hard part. You got to think about these things before you set your wheels in motion. I mean, I'm unk age and I feel like as unk, I, I, it's my, it's my duty to bring these things to awareness and break the situation down because it's so easy for things to go left and for someone to lose everything. And I'm not just talking about monetary. I'm not talking about materials. I'm not talking about materials. I'm talking about precious life. 
all these kids that, that look up to you guys, they have precious lives and they mean something to someone. And it would be devastating for them to lose everything or their family to lose them behind. Us as creators, are you as a creator not checking your bases and making things safe for your audience? If you're gonna do this, you gotta make sure things are safe for you and your audience, definitely. And I'm just the unk that has come out here and say it. It may be someone else that can say it to y'all, but I feel like it's my duty as someone who made it this far through trials and tribulations to, to bring that to light, to put a light and shine a light on that, that you need to make things safe for your audience. Now, going forward, I hope that you can you can take your time and learn from this situation. Everybody can take something from this situation. And the biggest part that we can take away from it is safety. There's a right and a wrong thing, right and a wrong way to do everything. Let's try to condition ourselves to do things the right way and cover all our bases going forward. Um, kudos to Breaking the City. Shout out to anybody who may have gotten hurt today. Pray a speedy recovery. And to all the thugs that was out there doing their stuff, man, look, y'all some wild boys. Check that out. Hey, y'all, and like and subscribe. And um, we got a lot of 2K coming forward. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.